Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am reviewing the I Love Sarai X ColourPop collection. I'm so excited because I received this for Christmas and I wasn't expecting it at all, but I'm so excited and happy that I did because I love Karen and this collection is just beautiful. I love all the shades and this lip color i'm obsessed with it already i can tell you that much if you want to find out how i achieved this look and what my thoughts are on this collection then just keep on watching so with the fluffy brush i'm going to dip into moody which is this greenish blue i just tapped on the eyeshadow twice because it is pretty pigmented um and it does kick up a lot when you press on it to grab the shadow but it is pretty pigmented so that's why I only dipped into it twice and this is also going to be the only shade we're going to be using in our crease today we're just going to be switching between different brushes to intensify the color now I'm just going to go back and build it up a little more with the same brush. I'm going back into the same shade, but with a denser, more precise brush to start building up the color. This does blend pretty easily. I've had no trouble with this so far. This is my first time trying ColourPop eyeshadows. I have never tried any of their eyeshadows. I've only tried like their eyebrow products or foundation and the powder that I have right now. And now I switch brushes to build up the intensity even more. Now that I have the intensity that I want, I'm going to cut my crease. And today I'm going to be using the Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, which is pretty much the like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, I believe. And this is in the shade C8. Next, I'm going to go into Lucy though. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. And then I'm going to blend it into Mesmerize. So I'm starting off with Lucy though. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's like all of a sudden I don't speak Spanish. And I am going to take it pretty far. But then I'm going to go into Mesmerize and just blend the two together so it's okay if you take it a little further than it should mesmerize does have uh, a little bit of fallout but i also am using this dry so that may be why i have a lot of fallout um i wanted to test these out dry first so so far i really really love the shadows because as you can see they're very pigmented um but i feel like i need to touch up right here because you can't see the orange anymore i think next time i am gonna try these wet to see if i get a better color payoff and i didn't bring it all the way out here because i'm gonna blend that into mood now that i think my eyeliner is even on both sides I think um, I'm gonna move on to my face and I'll be right back to show you guys the bottom half of my eyeshadow I just put foundation and concealer and set everything in place so now I'm going into euphoric which is this orangey shade right here and I'm going to put that all over my lower lash line then I'm gonna um, use a little bit of Diva to intensify the lower lash line. For my inner corners, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Hustle -a Baby highlighter. Now that that's done, I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back to show you guys the completed look. So this is the completed look. Uh, for the lip, I did use the I Love Sarai collection as well, and I used the 
Sueño de Coco Matte Lip Lipstick. Um, and I really love this color. I feel like I found like my perfect nude, which is rare because it's taking me such a long time to actually find a shade that suits my skin tone that's actually nude and doesn't look too pink. Um, so I really love this color. I'm very happy with it and I also love how this look came out I'm definitely gonna be using those two shades from the bottom up on the top soon and as you can see I did get a little transfer from my lid, but that's okay. It happens We're just gonna that's how we're gonna be today it's okay overall i really love the collection um i still need to keep playing with it but so far all the shades ha are very pigmented and the matte ones blend very easily um the shimmers i feel like it would be better if i use them wet so it, the color sticks a little bit better as you can see um you can see the orange a little still I'm um, sorry my viewfinder is like right here so that's why I keep looking this way but like I was saying you can still see the orange a little bit on the outer part of my lid but it did fade a little um, so I feel like I do have to use them wet uh, I'm gonna be doing that next time and I can keep you guys updated on my Instagram about it um, so just follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Faye N with three E's um, I'll have it on the screen. This is the final look and the, those are my thoughts on this collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.